Now in this video, we're going to look at uh, the photo diode, and I bought probably 30 of them for a buck or two, and I made that uh, label there because who knows what these are otherwise. They look like uh, clear LEDs, and uh, so make sure to label them. You can also just use a uh, permanent marker on baggies like that, but in case, the uh, photo diode, we use it reverse bias, so the short lead, the cathode, is going to this uh, jumper there that goes to the positive rail. Long lead, the anode, goes down one row. And the uh, basic way that uh, this works, reverse bias, is that uh, the amount of light on it will determine how much current it lets flow through. So that will hold true, we'll see, even as we vary the load uh, greatly. Now, of course, if the load has enough resistance or voltage drop or whatever you need to uh, raise the power supply to be able to, to handle that but uh, in any case as long as the load doesn't demand too much the photo diode will be what sets the current through it so now I have the power supply set to 5 volts I'll hit the uh, power button so that the output is on so now the uh, breadboard here has uh, 5 volts across the uh, power rails and I will zoom in. I added uh, this little jumper to uh, where the uh, anode is, right there. So I know that's a little hard to see. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Added the jumper to uh, where the anode is so that I can get a direct current measurement. I don't want to disturb the light uh, or the photo dot, I mean, while I'm taking measurements. So we're going to go right to milliamps of current, right there. And uh, Let's see what we have. It should be about one milliamp of current. And so 0.56. So if I turn it a little more to the light, there we can see that uh, it went up right there. And I really want it to be about one milliamp. And it uh, keeps bouncing back. So there we go, uh, 1.3. Let's just stick right there. I'll try not to move the uh, uh, photo down anymore. And also, make sure the light's not too bright so that it lets enough current through it that it burns out. That's another thing. So I'm going to take a 220 ohm resistor and uh, we'll see that the uh, current holds true. So now current will go through the photodiode, the resistor, and you can see we got the same amount of current right there. I can even add an LED. So this one I do have to forward bias. Long lead the anode is up, short lead the cathode to ground, and I'll come there. And we'll see it changed slightly, but still, it's holding really true. It's about the same amount of current. We have it going through a resistor and an LED. So that's a 220 ohm resistor with 5 volts. We uh, need to uh, get rid of the LED for uh, this test. But this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1000 ohm resistor. And you're going to see that the current holds uh, true right there. So uh, 1.29. 1.3 it's been. I'll dim the light down and of course the current's going to go down that it lets through. So there, 0.26. If we come to uh, this side, bypass, again, same uh, current. So current is set through this even as the load changes. And so I don't see these in many circuits, but I think they're really cool. So I'm going to show them and try to come up with some interesting circuits to uh, use them in. But in case, they're pretty straightforward there. Reverse bias photo uh, diode. Again, buy these cheap ones. There's a lot more expensive ones. And uh, some of the more expensive ones, you can shine light on them and create a little voltage. They're like a, a little solar cell. So there's a lot more to learn about photo diodes, but this is my quick video. So check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell. I'll uh, post my Patreon site too and uh, consider donating if you have the funds, and uh, I will see you in the next video.